Sunk cost fallacy is a cognitive bias where we continue investing time, money, or effort into something, even when it might be better to move on, just because we already spent so much on it. Sticking with bad relationships is a prime example. For example, you might be dating someone for years and the spark is gone. You fight all the time. You know deep down you will both be happier apart, but still, you stay. Why? Because of the years you've already invested in the relationship. The thought of wasting all that time is too much, so you remain stuck. This is the sunk cost fallacy at play. Our brains are wired to overvalue what we already have invested compared to the potential benefits of moving forward. Psychologists call this loss aversion. We really feel the sting of losses more than equal gains. And in relationships, the thought of losing all that time, energy, and shared memories keeps people holding on. The tricky thing is, sometimes sunk costs are worth writing out if the relationship can improve. But often we persist too long out of fear of regret, not rational calculations. So how can you tell if you're clinging to a bad relationship due to the sunk cost fallacy? Here are a few key signs. You stay because you've already put in so much time, not because you're happy. The relationship is causing you chronic stress and unhappiness. You constantly feel the need to justify why you stay. Friends and family advise you to leave, but you resist. You minimize problems and focus only on the past positives. You can't imagine starting over or being alone. Ask yourself, if this relationship began today, knowing what you do now, would you stay committed? If the answer leans no, sunk cost fallacy might be clouding your judgment. The key is to shift focus. Instead of lamenting the years invested, recalibrate and evaluate if this relationship is currently and will continue to make you happy. Weigh that against the difficulty of leaving. It's not easy, but loosening the grip of sunk cost fallacy gives you a chance at finding fulfillment.